The first Grand Lodge of Freemasons was organized on June 24, 1717 at the Goose and Gridiron Tavern in London. The first Masonic Lodge in North America is believed to have been organized in Philadelphia's Old Tun Tavern in 1730-31. Within a few decades, prominent colonialists such as George Washington and Benjamin Franklin had become active Freemasons. The American Revolution was led by Washington and other Masons such as the Marquis de Lafayette. One of Freemasonry's finest moments was when George Washington, accompanied by his Masonic brothers, laid the cornerstone of the U.S. Capitol on September 18, 1793. By 1801, Freemasonry was well established in the new nation, and an exciting new development occurred in Charleston, South Carolina. On May 31, 1801, in Shepherd's Tavern, the first Supreme Council of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry held its first meeting. The Supreme Council announced itself to the world on December 4, 1802, when it issued its circular throughout the two hemispheres. It provided patents of membership and began the work of bringing order out of chaos in the high degrees. The abduction and disappearance of William Morgan in 1826 led to the anti-Masonic period of American politics. The Supreme Council was dormant during much of this period. Scottish Rite Freemasonry awoke from its slumber by the 1840s and showed signs of renewed vigor. Albert G. Mackey, Grand Secretary General of the Supreme Council, took his most significant step for Freemasonry when he conferred the Scottish Rite degrees on an Arkansas lawyer, Albert Pike, in March 1853. After the ruinous destruction of the Civil War, Albert Pike returned to Washington, D.C. to resume his law practice and to rebuild the Scottish Rite. Under Pike's leadership, the intellectual foundation of Scottish Rite was reinforced. The fraternity attracted prominent men of the day including King David Kawakawa of Hawaii. Albert Pike passed away on April 2nd, 1891, and thus closed a significant chapter of growth and expansion for the right. As the Supreme Council entered the 20th century, its growing influence was perfectly exemplified by its new headquarters in Washington, the magnificent House of the Temple. As the Supreme Council was building the House of the Temple, Scottish Rite Valleys were building their memberships by transforming degree presentations from an intimate lodge room experience to a dramatic theatrical production. Just as the Supreme Council had outgrown its original building, the lodge halls that served pioneer communities were no longer adequate. The early 20th century saw the erection of scores of magnificent Scottish Rite buildings around the country. These new buildings were of a size and a magnificence that the founders of Scottish Rite could not have imagined. Albert Pike himself, who never saw a theatrical production of a Scottish Rite degree, would have been stunned at the sheer size of some of our buildings. The southern jurisdiction did not stop at building just for itself. The tradition of Scottish Rite, indeed of all Freemasonry, is service to others. In 1953, the first Scottish Rite speech and language clinic was opened in Denver, Colorado. Today, there is a network of over 160 clinics throughout the southern jurisdiction, and the northern Masonic jurisdiction is following our lead and starting their own network of clinics devoted to helping children. The Scottish Rite Masons have been leaders throughout the centuries. This leadership is epitomized by illustrious brother Edwin A. Buzz Aldrin, 33rd. In 1969, he and Neil Armstrong became the first two humans to step foot on the moon. Brother Aldrin carried with him a small Scottish Rite flag, which is one of the treasures of the Museum of the House of the Temple. His pioneering spirit exemplifies the Scottish Rite creed. It reads, Human progress is our cause, liberty of thought our supreme wish, freedom of conscience our mission, and the guarantee of equal rights to all people everywhere our ultimate goal. Eighteen Grand Commanders have overseen phenomenal growth from those early days. 
Scottish Rite Masons have always had a pioneering spirit. From beginning with 11 members in Charleston, South Carolina in 1801, growing to nearly 40,000 members in over 160 valleys in 1900, to over half a million members in 320 valleys in 2001. The southern jurisdiction alone has taken into its ranks 3.1 million of the finest men of the 20th century. Pioneering spirit, hard work, and enduring values. Values as fundamental today as two centuries ago.